Hi, this is for folks who want to program their Tello EDU drone from their Macintosh computer. This may or may not work for some users, but however, these are the steps. So here we go. So what you want to do first is go to your browser, and there's a link in the description below. So first we're going to download Scratch 2.0. There are two versions of Scratch, so you don't want the most recent one. What you want is the previous version of Scratch, which can be found at the bottom right there. So Scratch 2.0 to your desktop and wait for it. Uh, you might also need to install Adobe Air. However, um, I believe it is on this machine. So I'm just going to click for the offline editor. And you can choose between the older version or if you're running the latest operating system, just click OS X. And the same thing goes for Adobe AirPlay. Choose your operating system. Once again, this is a tutorial for the Macintosh. So if you have Windows, I'm sure there's another one on there. Once it downloads, you go into your Downloads folder, and you'll just open that Scratch download. It'll extract itself. Oh, there we go. So I'm just going to take this and put it on my desktop. Feel free to put it wherever you put your applications for easy access. Actually, I'm going to move that right over there. And after that downloads, what you want to do is download Node.js for your Macintosh. So while that's doing that from the extraction, just copy the link from the description and let's see if that does. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I think we have too much. I'll just take that out. There we go. So again, with this one, you just want the latest node for your Macintosh. And it's really self-explanatory. You just click on Mac OS X installer and it'll just self-extract and open onto your machine. Okay. So just click it. You might want to copy and paste this because this is the path that it will actually install everything from the Node.js deeply into your machine. So if you need to uninstall it uh, and you don't have an un uninstaller, just uh, copy it into your show notes. As you can see, I put it here and I can always go into the user uh, and search for it and delete it. So back to where we are. So that's still extracting. What's okay, we can continue that in the meantime. Depending on your machine, the experience may vary. So I will just install the Node.js 7a install software. Um, you can see it installed it way faster. So I can move that to the trash since all those components aren't needed anymore. I can close this window. Okay. And next, then the other notes, the last one, what you want to do is you want to download the other files that are necessary to um, customize Scratch so that it works. So we're just going to open up our browser and copy and paste the last link in the description. Uh, message denied. Let's see if this works by clicking on it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Or why don't we just say go to site. There we go. It'll download that link and everything. You should find a folder in your downloads that says release. So there that goes. I will leave a link a copy to the link of the download in the description so that you have it so we don't need that anymore okay so here we go so now we can begin that thing you just heard was scratch actually copying onto the desktop all right so what you want to do first well it looks like it's still copying let's quit this i can empty the trash you might want to empty your trash that's what i'm doing all right so go into your finder type in terminal and I'll just click it. Depending on your machine, it might be a different experience. And just type in node, N-O-D-E. 
E. That's it. And what you want to do is go into that, remember that folder you downloaded and it, there's a little, uh, it's called release. Open it up and click on the scratch. So what you want to do is this Tello JS, you can open it with any text editor. By default, this might open on something else on my machine, which I don't have access to. So I will use Sublime Text. Sublime Text is actually a free text editor, which works really well. So once Sublime Text opens, what you, these right here, these are notes. No need to copy that. Start with var. Make sure you get everything. Okay, all the way down to the bottom. And just copy right about there. Okay, copy that. And then go back into Terminal and just paste the code in. It'll just run a script and then just do that on the find. It will find. So and then what you want to do is you want to load up Scratch. Scratch 2.0 should open. Okay. Oh, there we go. So you'll see this screen, just click continue. As you can see, the graphics is very retro and antiquated. Um, that's probably why it takes so long and it's a tad slower on, in the installation process because it's calling out. Okay. Uh, I'd like to uh, click no thanks, depending on your options. So as you can see, if we go to more blocks, it's empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to load them. So if you hold down the shift key and then click file and as you can see, shift and you can see it says import experimental HTTP extension so click that while you're holding down the shift key and then navigate to the release folder which should be on your desktop easy to find or wherever you choose to keep your files and you want to select tello.s2e the other one's in Chinese, so you don't need to select that one. Now click open. Okay. And if we go to more blocks, see that light? It's green. It means you're connected. So now you should be able to control your drone. And you always want to make sure that you have a land button. So as long as it's green, take the land, throw it there. And then you just go into events so i'm going to choose here whoops put that there and always make sure you have a land first before you take off because it's not like you can just go grab your drone and um, just for safety reasons it could be in the house someone could be there or outside in the street etc and here we go so i'm going to already load some commands so that um, you don't have to watch this and i'll show you what happens next just make sure green and you are good to go there so these are the controls that I have already loaded in so that um, you can see what I have set up you can do the same if you like let's just make sure the light is green there we go there's my drone as you can see I'm just gonna power it up when you power it on light should go on it goes from red I believe it'll go green and start flashing another color. So I'll just leave that there. And now, well, you don't need to see that. I will let you look at the drone while I go into the Wi-Fi. There goes my Tello, as you can see. And it looks like we are connected. So I'm going to take the drone and just put it on the floor. See the drone flashing. Now, if I press the space bar, it should, there's the drone flashing, it should take off. Three, two, one, and go. There it goes, space bar. All right, so now let's see what happens when I press. You can also view the command lines. See, everything's working, back 40. All right, but it doesn't work when you type it in the um, terminal. So now I'm gonna go forward a little bit, forward a little bit. Maybe go down, down arrow, of course. There we go. So you can see, move forward, move forward. There we go. 
Alright, let's see if it'll flip. And F will be flipped. There we go. Now it's gonna go back. B will go back. Hold on. Whoops. There we go. B is back. We're gonna go up again. Bring him up. Bring him up. Right about there and have him flip. F. There you go. So F is flipped. We can rotate. I put R for rotate. So as you can see, he's turning. R. R. And maybe we have him move forward again. Go up. I'm going to press up. And have him flip. There we go. And have him move back because we don't want him to go. Oh, that one's down. Down. And land. Or Q. Q would be land. There. As you can see, it's a tad tricky. Um, you just have to remember what keys you use to uh, function the, uh, the drone. And also bear in mind that uh, you have about 10 to 13 minutes. So I never started my timer. I should have started the timer. But even when you pause, as long as the device is still on and connecting, you, you have to keep the buffer time in mind too. So if you're fooling around for for three minutes before you actually start flying your drone you're, you're going to shorten the flight time so you actually have let's say 10 minutes left out of the 13 the, the boxes that you have so i hope this helps you and you're able to uh to to control your drone and uh, program it via scratch and feel free to leave your comments down below thank you for watching